did oh. not find um, strumming instruction for this song. I just found sing along kind of uh, you know camp okay, like, version. Okay. So, but so this is what I've done. You might say, oh, we're gonna have to change that. Linda Ronstadt sings this in the key of D, but um, but but ultimate tab shows it in C with the keyboard of the second fret. Okay. Love will survive. That's how she. That's how it was played on her recording. Take things in stride. We are in. Four is. What key are we in again? We're in G. G. Okay. G A B C. C. Right. And then we go to D, which is right. five. And then we went to E minor, which is six. Which is six. There we go. So this progression is going straight up the scale from four to five to okay. six. And six is a minor chord. Okay. And it and you can hear how I mean it resolves kind of nicely, but not completely. You know, right. It's, like it's it's almost a little surprise. Right. But the second time you to go to the E minor. To go to the yeah. E minor, it, it's like oh that's not what I expected to hear. Here. Right. And the very next time it does what you what you wanted to hear. It, it, right. Okay. Now it starts again. With the same, it's going to start on C again. No, that, so that doesn't happen. Oh, oh, okay. It doesn't have that walk down, I don't think. Oh. Now, this is an unusual chord. B7? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's in there. It's not really in the key of G. Okay. And when you have a chord, because the only major chords in G would be G, C, and D. Okay. Okay. And a seventh chord is built on a major chord. Okay. Okay. So when we go to B7... It's setting us up for something. It's taking us someplace. It's actually taking us the only place it can go. Okay? <laughs> and it's a seventh chord usually falls on step five of the scale. So if, so the real seventh oh, okay. chord in the key of G would be D7. Okay. Okay? B7 is in there acting as a, a chord five for, for something. For something it's going to. Oh. So it's followed by the chord that it's five of. D. Not or quite. E. Yeah, yeah, pick one. E. E. Okay. If if we were in the key of E, you'd go E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B would be five. Okay. Okay? And so this B7 chord is in there setting us up to pull us to the E chord that is in the key of G. But not E minor. It is E minor because okay. It's the E chord that is in G. Oh, See, oh, and, and E minor, okay. E is 6 in G, wow. so it's minor. That's pretty tricky. Okay? So what I wanted to get at here was that um, B7 is always, 95% well, of the time, it's in there to get you to some kind of E chord. It could be E major or E minor, just depending on what key we're in. We're in a key that has E minor. So this could help you re remember, memorize this better mm -hmm. by understanding the connection between some of the chords. Okay.